Hello, this is Vern. Welcome to your great life to do at come. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave. And today I'm going to talk to you about how to change your luck in the area of love once and for all. Even if you've never been successful at it in the past. I know it's a big, bold promise, so please stick around. <laughs> you probably have noticed that I've been missing in action for the last couple of weeks because I've been intensely busy conducting my heart-to-heart -heart clarity calls with women from all over the world. A chance for women and I to connect and get to really figure out what's preventing them from getting love. And I can tell you that this time around, I've had the privilege and the honor to connect with women from virtually every corner of the world, from Mumbai to Mexico City, to London, to Tokyo, to uh, you name it. And it always blows my mind, as much as I know this intellectually, at a heart level, it blows my mind that I get a chance to kind of like predict who's going to stay stuck and who's going to find love. And the three things that I'll tell you right now are some part of what I use to make that prediction. But ultimately, if you find yourself in a situation where you know that love you're experiencing in your life right now, or the lack of love, or the depth of love you're experiencing is not what you want, pay attention and act on this and your luck will change instantly. The number one thing I'll tell you if you want to change your luck in the area of love is to make love and intimacy the number one priority in your life and act accordingly. You'll be surprised how many women feel intense pain around this area, but when it comes down to it, they're unwilling to make themselves uncomfortable to try more things to get love. So it's almost like saying, you know what? I'm unwilling to, the only price I'm willing to pay is what I'm currently doing. What you're currently doing, my friend, is getting you the results you have right now. If those are not what you want, you have to be willing to do more. And eventually, I mean, it will require for you to become more uncomfortable. So embrace being uncomfortable and know that that's the price to pay for you to get more of what you want. Second thing that I'll tell you if you want to create more love in your life or change your luck around the area of love is become as clear, as intensely clear about what you want to offer and give in a relationship as what you want to receive. <laughs> Listen, it takes about 2.3 seconds for somebody to come up with a list of these are the 20 or 30 or 40 things I want a man to have for me to fall in love with him. That's beautiful and it's fun and you should actually have some form of standard of what, what you want. I mean, that's very valuable. But you should have a higher standard before you have that one about what you can offer and what you're willing to give in a relationship. Because when you enter a relationship from a strong position of giving and you know you're the kind of woman who has all these qualities, all these virtues, all these values, and you, want to, you have so much of them that you want to give them to someone, it allows you to do things. Number one, it allows you to find a higher caliber of man. Number two, it allows you to be the kind of woman that men find incredibly more valuable. So turn the tables around and really look deep and dig deep as far as what do you want to give, what do you want to offer, and start from that position versus starting from this is what I want to get and I already deserve it. <laughs> the third thing I'll tell you if you want to change your luck in the area of love is pretty obvious, but you'd be surprised how many people don't do this and that's take more freaking chances. You have to be willing to risk first. You have to be willing to be vulnerable first. You have to be willing to create eye contact first. You have to be willing to smile first. You have to be willing to go for it. You have to be willing to say yes when you're afraid. That's what it's required. I mean, ultimately, if you want to create more results, that's what's required. One of my mentors taught me this early in life and it changed my life completely. He said this. He said, your degree of success in life will be directly proportional to the amount of uncertainty that you can comfortably live with. Let me repeat it because it's really powerful. Your degree of success in life will be directly proportional to the amount of uncertainty that you can comfortably live with. That means the more uncertainty you're willing to embrace and be cool with it, not be shaken up by it, the more you'll be able to create and give because you'll be able to risk more for a position of power. So this could not be more true in the area of love. If you want to create more love in your life, be willing to take more chances. These three tools that I just gave you right now seem, sound pretty simple, <laughs> but if you're willing to do them, I can guarantee that your luck will change overnight in the area of love. The results might take maybe a few weeks to catch up, but the effect of what you want is being created the moment you make a decision. Thank you so much for allowing me to share this with you. I challenge you as always to live a full and a conscious life and specifically today I challenge you to challenge yourself by making love a higher priority, by being willing to give before you're willing to receive, and by taking more chances. <laughs> Thank you.